Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, somebody wanted us to have a background video with some scrolling text over the top of it. Really easy to do, I've done that here. As you can see, we've got that video rolling in the background and you can slide down and roll back up. Really easy to do, there's no coding involved in this today. So let's get started. I'm going to start a new page. I'm going to go up to new, down the page. And let's call it scroll text. And the next step is entirely up to you. What I'm going to do with mine, I'm going to go over the right hand side under the page tab. I'm going to change my template from default. I'm just going to left click on it, hit the drop down. I'm going to make mine a blank page so that way there's no footer or header on there, which I think will work nicely with this sort of page. So once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and use the Divi Builder. I'm going to go down and build from scratch. In mine today, I'm going to use a single column, single row. You can put in whatever you want. And at the top, I'm going to put a little icon. You could put a little image logo or whatever you wanted to put on yours or even a menu, but I'm going to put an icon on mine. So let's just scroll down. There's an icon. As this is food, let's search for something in the food line. As this is food, let's search for food. And I'll use that little knife and fork. I'm going to pop over to my design there. That's going to work perfect for me. Right underneath that, I'm going to add a new little module and we'll put in this scrolling text that we want or the text that we want to scroll. So I'm going to roll down, use a simple text module for this. I'm going to pop in the text that I want. I've got it over here. And there it is. It's kind of a list of foods. Sort of menu restaurant style. Great. Well, let's go ahead and put our little video in our background here. So let's save that. I'm going to go up to my section here, the blue tab. I'm actually going to make this section 100 viewable width, which will make it 100% of whatever screen it's being looked at on. To do that, I'm going to go to design, down to sizing, I'm going to roll down to height. I'm going to put in 100 VH. I think I said VW, VH for viewable height. Now let's go and grab a video. To do this, I'm going to go over to a great site called pexels.com. Great site for stock photos. I want a video, so I'm going to go over to videos right here. I'm going to do a search for perhaps food. And if you just roll over one, it will show you what's going on with that particular one. I think I'll use similar that I did before with a nice dark background. And I kind of want landscape shape. And there's plenty to choose from here. Let's roll down, find the one I used last time. That seemed to work quite well. That was it right there. What I'm going to do is just left click on it it's going to open it in a new panel. Now, what you want to bear in mind with these videos is you don't want it to be too large. They do these things up to 4K, which will be quite a big file size. You may have trouble uploading that to your WordPress. So I'm going to get as large as I think I need. To do that, go up to the free download up here, hit the little down arrow, and there's the various different sizes. And you really only want the size that's going to work for you. SD may work for me. I'm actually going to use HD 720. If you go all the way up to 4K, it'll look marvelous, but it'll take a long time to load and you may not be able to upload it easily to your WordPress site. So I'm going to select HD 720 and hit the download. 
As you can see, it's downloaded it to my browser here. Great, well, let's go back to our site now. Still in the section, we we'll go over to content. That's always where you'll find background. There's our background. We've got color, gradient, image, video, which we're going to use today, background pattern or background mask. And you can combine several of these. Obviously, I'm going to use a video. I'm going to hit the little plus button to add the video. I've actually already got this uploaded, but I'll go through the motions. If you hit the upload files there, you can drag your video from your download location and just drop it in there. Once it's uploaded, let's hit the upload a video button. And there it is in our background. And that works quite nicely for me. But we can't see our text and our little logo very well, so let's change that so we can. Let's go to this little icon here. I want to go to my design icon. I'm going to make it white. I'll give it a little border. We'll have to give it some spacing. So I'm going to go down to border. Roll down a little bit. I'm going to make the border white. And perhaps three pixels. As you can see, it's buffered up against it there. I want to give it a bit of space. So if we close down the border, we can go to spacing just above. I'm going to give it, say, 20 pixels all around. Just put in the 20. It'll put in the pics. Hit the chain. And we'll do the same for left and right. Great, that's that taken care of. Now let's go into our little appetizers here. And again, I want to make it all white. So I'm going to go to my design, to my text. Might make it perhaps semi-bold. White in color. I'm going to want it in the middle. And I think I'm going to want it a bit bigger. So let's roll up text size. I'm going to make mine perhaps 18 pixels. You can slide or type in a value like I did there. Yeah, that works for me. Great. Well, we've got a few titles here, appetizers, etc. I want to make those perhaps a heading three and have a little bit more space between our little icon there and the top. So let's go into our content again. I'm going to drop that down a space. I think I'm going to put a space after it also. I'm going to make that a heading three. I'm going to roll down, do similar from my other headings. I think we've got main courses right there. Let's do a space. Main courses. Make that an H3. And I'm also going to give that a bit of space. I've got a couple more. What I'll do is I'll just pause the video and get those done. No point you watching me go through this. Okay, well, I've done my last one there. That's great. But we can't see those heading three. So if you roll over it with your mouse, you can hit the little pencil icon next to it. And that'll take us to the H3. I'm going to make mine perhaps bold. Well, it'd be white in color. And let's make it perhaps 25 pixels. Even bigger, let's make it 30 pixels. Make it look like a real heading. Right. Okay, well, we want this all to scroll. But I don't want to see a scroll bar right here, which is the side of our row. I want it to be over here. So let's make our row full width. To do that, go up into the green tab for the row. Over to design sizing you've got width right here if we slide the bar all the way up to the right 100 percent i'm going to copy that Control c and paste it in the max width below Control v to paste we've now got a full width row but while i'm in here i'm also going to make this row the same height as our section which was 100 vh 100 viewable height vh great and to make this scroll, I'm going to go over to the advanced. I'm going to go down to visibility. I'm going to change the default horizontal and vertical overflow from default to scroll right there on both of those. Fantastic. Well, let's save our changes here. Let's get rid of that little video file. 
hit the little purple button, save draft or publish if you're ready, and exit the Visual Builder. And there we have it. We've got our little video rolling down there. If we put our mouse over, we can scroll down, see all the various things in our little list that we've got going down here, side, dessert, etc. So there's how to add some nice scrolling text over a video. I hope that's answered your question. I hope you've found this useful today also. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.